So I'm back out at the office park here in Morseville. My daughter has gymnastics again this morning. And uh, for once, it's not raining. It was raining a little bit last night. It's supposed to snow tonight. So it is cold. Man, it's like in the 30s right now. I really shouldn't be skating, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna have a chance to skate tomorrow and I, I, I wanna skate, so I'm gonna make the most of it. Um, before anything else, this is the last weekend if you were interested in ordering a Bleeding Community t-shirt. This is the last weekend to get your orders in to guarantee that you'll get your shirt. Um, we're starting a, uh, a really small run of Blading Community t-shirts. There's a Blading Community logo on the front and on the back. It also includes a sticker that you can put on your helmet. I'm going to be placing the order on Monday and I've already got a bunch of orders in. I'm going to order some extra shirts, but if you want a shirt, you need to make sure that you order it this weekend. Otherwise, I can't guarantee that we'll have them in stock. We're not going to do this very often, maybe twice a year. But if you want to be part of the blading community and get a t-shirt, uh, this is your best chance to do it. So I'm still on the, uh, the shadow. Um, I've got the Eclipse liners still. They're breaking in just fine. They feel good. I walked around a little bit yesterday with them and they still feel good. Um, the skates, I've still got the big wheels on. The 3 by 100 on the Kaiser Trimax. I'm still not sure about this setup. I heard that the non-big wheel version, the non-Trimax version, actually comes with a ratchet buckle and it's a slightly different cuff. So maybe that will make a difference, but really this is the, the way that this is, is the optimized way for big wheels. So it should feel as good as possible with this big wheel setup as it will. Like this is the ideal setup. And I was feeling a little sketchy to be completely honest when I was skating around Durham last weekend. It just wasn't feeling right. So I wanted to give it a shot out here at the office park. You know, I know this place really well. There's a lot of really cool hills, some areas for slides, some little gaps, things like that. I'm just really interested in exploring, seeing what these feel like out here. And I think that'll give me a good understanding of if this boot is designed for big wheels or if we should just stick with aggressive. I've been skating for like three minutes and my hands are already frozen. Uh, this is going to be a rough one. Uh, the skates feel, again, they feel wiggly. Like I'm not getting that solid feel that I get with my Seba or uh, I don't know, any other skate for that matter. Like just skating hard, skating fast. I feel these, like the mid area just wiggles a lot. Um, I don't know. I know that they're not designed like to compete with a Seba or, you know, like a Aeon 80 or something like that. But I like them to be a little more, a little more supportive. You'd think with all the straps and stuff they would be, but it's very wiggly. So just around the corner from my, uh, my kids' gymnastics studio is uh, this new construction. They're building a, uh, well, they already have an indoor gym set up that they're doing volleyball, but look at all this. So in the background, that's gonna be the new gymnastics studio, which is awesome. And then way over there, they're putting in two uh, full sheets of ice. So uh, I can come out here and do some ice skating if I wanted to while, uh, while she's doing the, uh, the gymnastics. That could be fun.
So, <laughs> not gonna lie, I just spent the last five minutes in the car trying to warm my fingers up. It is cold. Um, <clears throat> if anybody has any suggestions on gloves that, uh, that you like, please leave them in the comments. I'd love to invest in a good, good set of gloves because my fingers are so numb. Pushing the pause uh, record button on this camera is, <laughs> is painful. Um, so I did uh, make a few little changes. Um, I adjusted the tightness of my boots uh, and uh, used the top uh, around the cuff Velcro strap, tightened it a lot more, cranked them down in the middle. It feels a little better, but I don't know. I mean, I think if, um, if you're comparing these to, you know, a pair of Seba or a pair of, I don't know, like Imperials or something like that, that are kind of designed for big wheels, I think you're going to get a really bad experience with these. Um, again, the main motivator here is you can just walk. So I got in the car, uh, I took my skates off and I just put my feet in the car with the boots, the, the, the liner still on. And, uh, that's nice. You know, I didn't have to take my skates all the way off. I wasn't sitting in my socks. Like, I like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, um, these might be good. But if you're looking for um, a dedicated uh, big wheel skate, uh, not just for commuting, but for actually doing tricks and stuff, I think these are going to give you a hard time. All right, <laughs> I'm going to try some slides. Wish me luck. I don't know, uh, I don't know how these are going to work, but I'm getting a lot of like, wiggle left and right. So my slides, you know, in order to catch the edge properly, I need really good control of my edges. And I don't have that with this setup. So I really don't know. I'll probably be able to do some parallel slides. I, or uh, magic slides, probably won't be able to do any parallel slides, but I'm going to give it a shot. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah. Alright, that's feeling pretty good. Um, not as good as it was last time I was here, but it's been a while since I've tried to do any parallel slides. Parallel slides are so scary to me. Like, I always have this fear that I'm just going to slip out, land on my hip, which I'm sure I will. But, just a little bit. I'll take it for now. Um, so hope, hope to skate tomorrow. I hope to get out to the skate park. It might be snowing. Uh, if it does, uh, there's an indoor skate park that I'm going to set up my aggressives. Um, if not, make sure you get that front side in. So this month's blading challenge, uh, for the blading community is the front side, uh, back to blading.com slash community. Uh, all we need is the front side, get your aggressive skates, uh, and, uh, grind some stuff. So. <laughs> Um, I'm cold, so I'll see you guys next week.